Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Outlook can also assist you in planning a meeting by sending out invitations to attendees. These are called meeting requests. The recipients of your meeting request will receive an email message in which they must click a button that indicates if they will be attending. The response that they send is then recorded and stored by Outlook. In the future, you can open the meeting request in the calendar to view their responses. To plan a meeting, open the desired calendar folder and then select Actions and then choose Plan a Meeting from the menu bar. The Plan a Meeting dialog box will then display. You can use this dialog box to specify whom to invite to the meeting. One way to invite attendees is to click into one of the boxes at the left side of the dialog box containing the words click here to add a name and then entering the email address of the person you wish to invite to the meeting into the box. Then press enter on your keyboard and repeat this process for all attendees. Another way to invite attendees is to click the add others button within the dialog box and then select the add from address book command. Use the address book drop-down in the window that appears to select the address book that contains the contact you wish to invite. Then select a name from the list within the Select Attendees and Resources dialog box and click one of the following buttons. Required, which means that the selected attendee is required for the meeting. Optional, which means that the selected attendee can come if they want to or resources, which is used to designate time that a specific resource is requested for use, like a particular room in your office. It's important to note that the organizer of the meeting is always listed as a required attendee. You can then repeat this process until you've invited all attendees and selected all resources. Then click the OK button when you're finished inviting the meeting attendees to return to the Plan a Meeting dialog box. To select a start date and start time for the meeting, click the drop down arrow to the right of the meeting start text box and select a date from the displayed calendar. Click the drop down arrow to the right of the date and select a start time for the meeting. Repeat this same process to set the meeting end. Make sure that the attendees that you have invited aren't busy during the time selected. You can see how they have marked that time within their calendars at the right side of this dialog box for the time that you have selected. While you cannot see what they are actually doing, you can see how they indicate that time within their calendars. So if they are busy, you should try and find the first free time available for the selected attendees. One way is to click the Auto Pick Next button at the bottom of this dialog box. Outlook will then try to select the next available free period of the duration specified in which all attendees are available. Finally, click the Make Meeting button to display the meeting window. Here you will need to type a short description of the meeting into the Subject text box. and a location for the meeting into the location text box. Feel free to enter any additional notes about the meeting into the lower half of the meeting window and then click the send button within the meeting window to send the meeting request to the selected recipients. You can then click the close button in the plan a meeting dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.